Dear learners, this video lecture is for BCCA SEM 5 students for CMA that is Cost and Management Accounting. I am Assistant Professor Kailesh Murli Dharjatwar. Welcomes you all uh, on behalf of GS College of Commerce Vardha. I will be your educator for the subject Cost and Management Accounting for this same. This sub subject has its own beauty. This subject is too much interesting in practical, in theoretical manner as well as in pra practical manner. If you are uh, taking it uh, seriously, it will provide you to uh, grab opportunity, opportunity to earn your bread, bread and butter uh, in near future. In this pandemic, you have lost your too much of time. Hence, now you must be productive towards a productive learning and you, st uh, you should go for uh, uh, good things. So, without wasting too much of time, let's Fallen ocean of the cost and management accounting. We will start with examination scheme. And what is the examination scheme for CMA? That is cost and management account. Let's see. You will get uh, you uh, full uh, papers uh, paper consisting of uh, 80 plus 20. That means 100 marks. 80 marks for written exam. 20 marks for internal. Let's see how 80 marks has been classified. 80 marks consist of 5 questions. In question number 1, you will be getting 4 questions, 4 marks each. That will make total 60 marks. It has 4 questions. In question A, you will get question from unit 1. In B, from unit 2. In C, for unit 3. And the last for unit 4 and in question number 2 there will be 2 2 question and in all the third one question 2 consists of 3 question A and B and or C that means you have to solve A for 8 marks from unit 1 and B for 8 marks from unit 1 or underline or C only one question that is for 16 marks from unit number one. I repeat question number two uh, structure. You will get two questions, uh, three questions A, 8 marks, unit one, B, 8 marks, unit one, or C, 16 marks from unit one, only one question. The same question structure which we have seen in question number 2 will be followed in question number 3, question number 4 and the last question, the question number 5. Question number 3 will provide you, uh, provide you questions from unit 2. Question number 4 for unit number 3 and the last question, question number 5 will uh, give question you from unit number 4. This is all about 80 marks question which you will um, uh, gain from written examination which will be conducted by RTV. And what about the 20 marks question then? 20 marks, 20 marks can be earned from internal that means from college. And what is the formula for this internal assessment? How you can get 20 marks from this? Here, 2 assignment for 5 marks each that makes 10 marks. PPT or oral presentation for 5 marks and the last and important attendance will provide you 5 marks that is 75 percent attendance this all will make your 20 marks this is all about your examination scheme okay now we will see how the syllabus has been made for you let us discuss syllabus in brief Unit number one, total we have total four units. In unit number one, first head is introduction to CMA, that is cost and management accounting, where you will find some accounting frameworks or, or and taxonomy, uh, cost accounting and cost and management accounting, the meaning of uh, all those, dimension of management accounting, this will be covered in first set, that is in introduction to CMA. And the and in the second one, which will discuss by uh, discuss for forces shaping 
business environment and their effect on cost and management accounting see effect on cost and management account accounting which will consist of what the trend in cost and management accounting what are the role of cost and management accountants and profession of cost and management accountants okay coming to the part of uh, unit number 2 there will be two important topic one strategic management accounting and the other one is cost and uh, cost measurement and estimation in cost and management accounting uh, you will get a linking strategy of management accounting value chain for strategic management accounting life cycle of costing target costing and one of the important topic kaizen costing which is an japanese concept cost measurement and estimation uh, will consist definition and measurement of cost cost of financial statements the income statement cost classification and the last one cost estimation methods in unit number 3 you will get cost costing system and job order costing what you will get in costing system you will get costing uh, you will get in costing system alternative cost of accumulation uh, accumulation system consistency based approach to accounting levels of costing systems income analysis under alternative costing systems and one of the important topic jit that means just in time okay this is an inventory system which we will going to discuss in detail when we will going to learn this this other one is job order costing okay in job order costing you will get the overview of uh, traditional co uh, costing uh, system job order costing system for manufacturing companies how important uh, job order costing for uh, manufacturing companies job order costing for uh, service companies job uh, and job order costing for planning purposes in the last unit there will be two one of the main important topics which is process costing and activity based costing and customer profitability analysis this all we will going to uh, discuss in detail when we will reach to the topic there are certain books which i will be providing in uh, in uh, in whatsapp uh, group to refer the books let us come to uh, the topic now but before starting any content from syllabus i want to make it easy that what are you learning first that means let us first go for what is cma before going to the syllabus we have to learn what is cma so let's see what is cma then cma consists of three word cost management accounting cost management and accounting so first what is cost think what is cost 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 means the expiration that means it will express the amount of money that means amount of money that is spent on the production creation of good and services of a good and services okay this is cost but note that it does not include profit markup profit cost never will include profit okay coming to the next point the uh, management what is management management is to organize or control something to which uh, management will control it will control to cost okay clear now the last one is accounting accounting at what what is the accounting you your fifth sem students you know let's uh, brief you discuss that costing uh, sorry accounting is the process of recording financial transaction what i said financial transaction and not any uh, non -mon uh, mon uh, monetary transaction okay these three topics made cma management of costing and not only manage but to record these financial cost okay this is all about cost and management accounting 
and uh, this is all about today's lecture we will going to discuss this all in a brief uh, in detail uh, by topic by topic and uh, uh, follow our channel to get more knowledge uh, through lectures assignments and notes because once benjamin franklin has said investment in knowledge provides best ret best returns hence uh, give more uh, time give more energy to knowledge to uh, give uh, to be something in your life and uh, we will meet you in next lecture with more knowledge with more energy uh, in next lecture we will discuss all, all this thing in detail and we'll start with our uh, uh, core topics okay till then have a good health goodbye thank you